Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of intestinal obstruction with perforation. You can see the liver and gallbladder. Intestinal perforation defined as loss of continuity of bowel wall is a potentially devastating complication that may result from a variety of disease processes. Common causes of perforation include trauma, instrumentation, inflammation, infection, malignancy, ischemia, and obstruction. You can see a large amount of free fluid is seen in the upper abdominal wall in the Morrison's pouch, also called hepatorenal recess. This is the free fluid seen between the right kidney and the liver. The classical presentation is sudden and severe abdominal pain, sometimes with localized peritonism or a rigid abdomen on examination. Gastrointestinal perforation occur when a hole forms all the way through the stomach, large bowel, or small intestine. It can be due to a number of disease, different diseases, including appendicitis and diverticulitis. It can also be the result of trauma such as knife wound or gunshot wound. Sonography is able to detect the primary scarial perforation as two pairs of parallel line representing the warm outer margin flanking a central sonolocent line representing its digestive tract. It could, it could be found also in the peritoneal cavity and in some loops of the small Bowl. Now you can see the lower abdominal cavity and a, again a large amount of free fluid which is thick and turbid seen in the lower abdominal cavity in the area just above the urinary bladder and gut loops are seen to be floating in this fluid but no intestinal motility is seen. The diagnose, uh, to diagnose the condition, the doctor may carry out one or most of the following tests. X-ray of the chest and abdomen. This is to check for air in the abdominal cavity, a sign of gastrointestinal perforation. Then CT scan. This helps the doctor to loc locate any possible holes. And number three, blood tests. Now you will see the scanning of this patient by linear high power probe. Now you can see the intestinal intestine, gut loops, and fluid is also seen. If GIT tract uh, is perforated, the contents may spill into the abdomen and cause peritonitis and infection. Such as infection can lead to sepsis, sometimes incorrectly called blood poisoning. Sepsis is the body's often deadly response to infection. Now you can see the gut loops and free fluid. A perforated bowel is a medical emergency. Left untreated, it can quickly lead to sepsis, organ failure, shock, and even death. Intestinal perforation is a major life-threatening condition with high morbidity and mortality that requires emergency surgery. Despite improvements in surgical and medical treatments, the overall mortality is, is, is 30% and the mortality rate of cases that also have diffused peritonitis is up to 70%. 
you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks